This week on. Oh, wait. This two weeks on Gorilla Tag. Before we start, I just want to say um, the reason I'm doing two weeks this week is because I forgot last week. Or I didn't forget, but I couldn't do last week because I was gone because it was my birthday. And yeah, I was just I was just gone. So yeah, I'm doing two weeks now. So everything that happened over the last two weeks, I'm saying instead of last week. So yeah. First of all, Jayman Curly posted four videos. He posted a video on seeing if ghosts were still real. He posted a video on checking out a Backrooms VR game update. And he also posted a video where he put all of his ghost hunting videos together in one. Oh, Doug's got a mohawk. I never, I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, he posted a video on putting all of his ghost hunting videos together in one over the course of the last few years of his YouTube career. And he also posted a video on joining a comp, like a girl tech competitive team and using mud because he's bad. But yeah, that, that was cool. Anon hasn't posted at all over the last two weeks and neither has Elliot. Like, come on guys. VMT got the stick in Brick Tag, which is just a real tag Lego copy, which like this is pretty cool. He also played a bunch of mini games trying to figure out which one was the best in 2024. TTT Pig got three moderators together and they all did stick justices on someone all at the same time. So they they showed the kid three sticks. So that kid is in big trouble. Also, Gorilla VR GT, who if you don't know, is a secret undercover U girl tag YouTuber who like you have to guess who he is with these hints. He came out with a bunch of hints the last two weeks. Yesterday, I think it was, maybe a few days ago, he came out with hint 13, and it changed everything. Hint 13 said all the hints were lies. Fake. Well not well, not necessarily lies, but they don't count. It's we're restarting from the start. So yeah. That kind of ruins all of our progress. So now we gotta restart, like, bruh! Anyway, Real Tech updated about a week ago, and it was the Pride update. But yeah, the community hates the Pride update so much. Like, 90% of the community hates it. So, I mean, yeah, but they did add some obstacle courses in mountains, beach, and, um, clouds, which are, those are actually pretty fun. Go check out my video on the update and on my channel. They also, in the update, came out with a friending system, where if you get some of your friends, you can have up to nine other friends, and if you hold your fish like this, then you can go into lobbies with that, with, like, those friends, and, like, you can just go into different public lobbies, and they stay, and they join the, um, lobby with you. So, like, we don't have to use a stupid group join anymore, because that thing always sucks. And they also came out with the new tier finger painter, which is called the Illustrator, and it's actually pretty cool looking. I'll put a picture of it of it on screen right now and like there it's not in game yet maxo did get like a mod that allowed him to have it there's only there's only six people that have it styled snail elliot um bmt uh maxo fizzy and chibi i don't know why k9 or jamie and curly didn't get it but yeah what it does is it gives them access to girl tech updates early so they can make their update videos early and um, they get the badge, obviously, the new badge. I don't know if they get to keep the original finger painter or if it replaces it, but it'd be cool if they could have both. It also gives them shiny rock coats. They can just give out shiny rocks, which is also really cool. But there's also more perks that, that have not been announced yet. But yeah, that's really, really cool. Congrats to those guys. There's only six of them, but congrats. But yeah, that's all for this week on Girl Tech. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Join my Discord server. Link in the description. And... Yeah, let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. I will see you in the next one. Bye!